<laughs> Hallelujah. My value system changed. There are only a few men that hold microphones in Nigeria that know God. If the person know God, knows God, we will see it in your lifestyle, the way you treat people. Go and read Matthew chapter 5, 6, 7. People under you as ministers are slaves. You say you know God? You have not met the God of the Bible. He will so texture your heart that you will prefer others than yourself. Oh, you can't lead in the body of Christ if you are not dead to self. When you see today the, the lens of your, of your soul, self is packed away. That's when you can become a father. And do, you, do you understand? Are you with me? I studied my Bible. I found out that in every generation, the fathers are few. Oh, many people talk father, father, father. No, oh, it's a calling. It's not because you are old, though. No. You said you've been behind the pulpit for 60 years. And in 60 years, you couldn't raise any son. You couldn't sacrifice to make someone's ministry fulfill its full measure. Because of self, it must be around you. <laughs> Oga, you are not a father. You are a preacher. Being a father is a calling. Paul says you have many teachers, but not many fathers. In a generation, the fathers, people called to be fathers are few. And even if you hate them, their voice will never die. <laughs> hey, it's the extent to which you have put self away so that your might will become for the weak. Your voice will become for the destitute. Your strength will become for the downcast. Your anointing will become for the stranger. So people that have no support among men can lean over under your weight and find fulfillment, find expression. That man must have died to self on the inside. When you see people, he is the only one. His ministry doesn't have much value in heaven. When I see the insecurity among pastors, I say, why did you accept the call? A pastor, a pastor invites you to come and preach on his pulpit and then you stand in your office and then you notice immediately that he's insecure. What are you doing? Is he a nursery you are raising? A nursery. Go and study engineering. Build warehouses. Sell ice cream. And witchcraft everywhere, manipulation everywhere, lying. No. It begins with consecration. Where the only one that is tall in the neighborhood is called Jesus. And I need to decrease so that he can increase. I need to deliberately decrease. So that everyone that comes into your space, it touches a strand of God. Your life becomes that lamp by which God spreads himself with such a brilliant illumination. Oh. 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 If you really live the life of the altar, you don't need to pray for a long life. You will live long. God needs you around. <laughs> He, he needs you. He loves his people and he 